We are here in Houston, Texas. Today, 32 drivers are gonna battle it out for $40,000 and 60 points. Here we are at Houston. This is definitely the hottest place on earth, but hey, you know why we know it's so hot? Because Ryan won again. Yeah, you're bad. I don't know how you put I, that I, together. I definitely yeah. appreciate it, but I'm not sure how it correlates to the weather. Last week, Ryan came into Brainerd with a 50 point lead, but Scott Taylor was able to knock him out in the first round, paving the way for Kai Kelly to win the entire event and tie Ryan Martin for first place. And he did just that. I'd rather not hurt this one. Round two, man, I wasn't ready for this. I got to race Ryan Martin. If he beats me, he's going to get a big jump on me in points, and uh, I can't let that happen. I mean, if we, do, if we hurt it, then we we don't have anything to put in. That one in. As soon as I found out that I had Ryan, I text Adam. He's a little hesitant, but he wants to put our big motor in the car. It's been said that none of these Musi motors have had over 60 runs on them without kicking the rods out of them. It's uh, about a $25,000, $30,000 fix if you sling a rod out of one of these motors. We've got tune-ups for it for the entire year. The one thing is we haven't blown it up yet racing Ron Martin. And every time we race him, it's by, you know, a fender or six inches, and that's what we're tired of. It's a uh, get off the pot here. We made a decision. I'm going to take a chance on slinging the rods out, and uh, we're going to change this thing. OK, thank you. Pro with it. We got to get it done quick, and I hope we have enough time. In a time like that, whenever you're just uh, vulnerable, you know, you just you need help. And you don't have to even have to ask. Team Nola, they just show up. I don't really know what's going on, but they say we're changing motors, and we're going to change that faster than anybody in drag racing right here. All David Gates guys is over here. All Pat's guys is over here. Make sure you're not hung up on any studs. You know, not to mention, Pat's still racing. He took his crew off his car, sent them over here to help me. So uh, that means the world to me. And uh, you know, time comes, I'll pay him back. I always do. I got it. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. What we have is more power than we've ever put in the car, ever. And not just a baby step, we took a big step. Because uh, we've been running the conservative. We, had, we didn't want to blow it up. It's hitting on the throttle linkage back here. So our plan here is to blow this thing up, to hurt the motor and beat Ryan Martin. It was at its end of his life with runs on the rods, but uh, it's got to have one more in it, because we're going to find out. All right, good. Any fluid in it? Yeah. All right. No, it just, it's got at least nine. That's high as it goes. There ain't no quitting Team Nolan. I definitely ain't no quitting me. In this let's go. Hell. Might as well be the finals for us. For me, this is the most important thing that sets the tone. So. I have to outrun Kai Kelly here in the second round. I had uh, John Odom's engine crane last night, and I didn't take it back yet. Well, the Gates crew just come running over to get it. I do believe Kai's changing the motor. Really? When you do what Kai does, you take a chance. So when you switch it, you, you got a good program, you got a good car, and it's running. When you go, OK, let's abort that, all that, and try something bigger and better to try to outrun the guy next to me. Things happen. I've done it. So. You hurry something, you leave a hose loose. It's a very risky move. So, like, the truth is, even if I went, well, okay, Kai's going to be a lot faster, I don't know that I can. I can't make a big move. Like, I don't know that I have much more to give it. Really? You can't find any more? I mean, it's getting ready to be this combo with this blower is all I've got for it. Damn. So we just said we're going to run our race. I'm going to use the same tune that I used earlier in the day to try to outrun him, and we're not going to trip over our own feet. That's why that blower sounds different. Yeah, you hear it? We always fire the car up just one time to hear it run right before we take it up. Blower sounded a little different than it normally does, but I thought I've heard it, heard it all day. We kind of listened, focused, got it out of our head. We can't do anything about it at this point in time. We have to be at the starting line right now. I've been running this motor all year. Same hood scoop, same hood scoop pan, same everything. We go up there and do a burnout, and the throttle's stuck wide open. The car kicks sideways. I finally got the gas back up, and you know, I, I, I called Adam on the radio. The 
we both go to do our burnouts, and I go to back up, and then I look over, and everybody is around Kai's car. Apparently, Kai has an issue. Yeah. I know, man. I don't want to win it like that. Look, they just thrashed and put a motor in to try to outrun me. I get it. They didn't have to do it, but they did it. And I hate to take this thing away from him because his throttle's hung on his cow. It just ain't my style. I'd rather him outrun me than for me to, to try to take advantage of him on the two-minute thing. So I'm going to give him as much time as they need to fix it. All right, so Guy Kelly's team over here fiercely working on this car. Hey, Guy. Yeah. I'll go all the time you need, baby. Thank you, man. Ryan Martin gave us all the time we wanted. He didn't put us on a two-minute clock. He didn't do anything like that. And in my opinion, if he is going to be number one, that's the person I want to be number one, because that's true sportsmanship. Hey, bend that rod over. Bend the rod over, he says. Uh, Other way. Other way. My hat's off to him, you know? He don't want nothing free. He wants to beat me, and he wants to clinch the number one spot. No, nothing but respect. Break it out. Still hitting. Yeah, still here and hitting. It's all the way against the glass, yeah. man. Good. 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 Calm, cool, and collected. I'm chilling. That's right. Hey, all the kindness in the world, and then him up when that light drops. That's my, that's my plan. I know. All right, I love Better. you. You got it. You believe we're going to have a drag race here, folks? I didn't see him. I was in front of him. We were winning the race, just like we thought. About two or 300 feet, the car starts moving to the right. It was either make a decision to lift or take a chance on hitting Ryan. First and foremost, we're gonna have a driver's meeting here. This is for the invitational class. $40,000 to win here tonight on this drag strip. Someone is gonna walk away with $40,000 in their pocket. There's always a question I ask you, are there any call outs? Does anybody just really not like somebody and wants to call them out first round and race? I know for sure Dave wants to call out Ryan. I, you know what? That's right. You know, we should change some strategy here. Just call out Ryan Martin. First round, Kai. Get him out of here. It is time for the Invitational Class. We are here in Idaho at Firebird Raceway. 32 drivers battling it out for $40,000, but more importantly, 60 points to the winner. Coming in today, Ryan is on a hot streak. He won the Invitational Class in Houston. And then just last night was the winner of the Grade 8. Kai Kelly is right on Ryan's heels. Look, he is in second place right now. And you know what? Team NOLA as a whole is doing awesome. Four of their drivers are in the top eight. Let's talk about Kai Kelly. Brought a brand new car here to Idaho. And guess what? In the finals of the grade eight. Look, I don't know if that strategy is going to pay off, but right now, it's looking good. Just call out Ryan Martin. First round, Kai. Get him out of here and make up some slack. What do you think? Uh, Ryan drove a long way to get out here, and I just really don't want to end this day that early. So right. Oh. I'm going to draw out the bag and yeah. made the best man win. Man, see, that's why I like Kai Kelly. He's always thinking of the other racers. That's a good man right there. No call out. So, 32 drivers will pull out of this bucket. All right, folks. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Get in here. All right. All my drivers have a chip. Where are... My number ones. Whoa. Oh, there hey, we go. Nice it's Doc night. Love and John Odom, number twos. Oh. 
going to be Tony McKinney and Murder Nova, second pair. So show me something, or I don't know. I've had a little bit of first round on my back lately. I feel like I got the bugs out. You know, we're racing Doc Love, who's been doing this a long time. You know, me and my son used to go home and watch that guy on TV. So to be racing with him is pretty awesome. A first for everything. Hey, brother. A first for everything. I know. First, it's, it's nice to love running you. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Watch you on TV for 10 years. Now I'm running you. Now we're racing each now other. Now we're racing each other. Uh, I drew Odom, a local guy here to Boise. He's been down this track many, many, many times. I've only been down three times. Blower car on blower car. Not tested on untested. Look, I'm just gonna send it. First round of the Invitational class is right now. This will be the first pair. Over in the right lane, the hometown racer over here, Mr. John Odom, driving the blue GTR. Going up against 405 zone, Doc Love in the left lane. over there in that right lane. That's Doc Love, right? Doc Love's been doing this a long time, and this is my first year. So uh, I think we got him by a little bit, but you know, that car ran good yesterday. And so we didn't, you know, we were kind of making sure we had the right tune and everything in it, because he ran fast yesterday. And you know, he's really good at what he does. So, you know, it's an honor to be part of these guys and racing with these guys. And you know, today we took home the win. So we'll try for round two and just try to work our way up the list. Thank you, thank you. Second half of the season is pretty crucial. I need to go to a couple of finals at least to uh, be anywhere close to the top 10. I 100% believe that it's doable. I think we're this close to getting the car where it needs to be. We made some good passes last night and hopefully that continues over in today. We drew Tony McKinney, uh, second pair down. And, uh, and I like it, you know, that that's a winnable race for me and I have to win the winnable races. This is important. Yeah. Ooh, let's get it. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I don't remember racing Sean, I think it was the first time I've ever raced him. And, you know, coming into this, you tell yourself you're gonna race these guys one day, so it's kind of surreal to be able to do it. All right, same routine, right? Everything. Where's Beanie at? He's not gonna be down here with you because he's next up. Okay. So it's just you two. We've been struggling all season. Anybody that follows us knows we have blown five motors up. We are we are on our fifth motor actually this year. So we're gonna fire up just like we did. We're gonna drive in the water box. We took all the heat out of the motor. I gotta get some heat in there. Okay. Okay. All right. But I'm here. I didn't think I would make it. Nobody thought I would make it. So I'm happy. We got a completely new crew from what we've had the past season and a half. We do our burnout. There's some miscommunication. They had to shut the car down. Uh-oh, got problems over here in the left lane. We're good. What the we gotta get back up a second. Oh, push me back, push me back. My fault, I just miscommunicated what they were trying to tell me. They didn't back me up quite far enough. We fired it right back up. Yep. Them and never looked back. Murder Nova, moving on to the next round. I was late. 
fired the car up. We're going to take the beam. And I can't see the tree. So as I'm in the car, I got my head ducked over just to be able to stage the car. I sat there. I made a whole ass pizza before I even left. He left on me. He probably got a car, a car and a half. And we just ran out of real estate. So he got me. Hey, I'm taking uh, taking orders today. I'll be doing uh, ribeyes for everybody after the first round. Shut up. Y'all just, y'all just buy the ribeyes, and I'll have time to cook them. Judging by yesterday, I'm having the worst weekend I've ever had in my life. First on the grudge rates. Wow, that could have been bad. The tires came off the wheel. Ben in the grade A. And Scott Taylor gets the win. Oh, we just did that? Yeah, it was shaking bad, man. Yeah. Hopefully, we can turn it around today. Uh, Lizzie's going to call me out first round, because I really didn't get no good data trying to fix all the that broke off my car yesterday. The way it's looking, we're not going to do too good. I'm going to call you out first round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure a couple of people are going to try to call you out. All right. There are 32 drivers right here. These are all the invitational drivers. They are racing for just a small chunk of change, $40,000. Also, it is 40000 to win, but don't forget, there is a bounty on Ryan Martin. This is the last race of regular points, OK? Regular and then I get points. to start. Murder Nova, here is where your plan comes into effect right now, because starting next race, it's uh, points and a half for two races. And then the final race is double points. So there is still 420 points up for grabs, all right? I don't know what. I'm gonna do. Just try to get some first round show up points, I guess. Oh, you figured out. This is usually when you win. It sucks, man. Are there any call outs? Are there any call outs? Damn it. Oh, you're call Chuck Sightseer. I want to call out my girlfriend Lizzie. Oh, so right, man. Chuck Sightseer. Really going on the edge here, calling out Lizzie Musi. My gosh, what is going on? Well, I mean, she's beat me every time we've raced. You of course. Know, so she's probably gonna beat me again. Yeah. Or. She could go home early, and then I get you can get some sleep because I know y'all were up late working on Kai's car. Yeah, Lizzie, what do you think? All right, Chuck, you know I love you to death. I love yeah, I know. you, man. I know. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> but uh, Kai, you know, oh, you, you're, you, yeah, you're a little, you're struggling a little bit. <laughs> All right, a little bit. Whoa! Whoa. So, Wait, what are we talking? What are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was Kyle struggling. Okay. So anyway, at the end of the day, I would like to call Kai out. You know. But I have to decline, decline Chuck's. So Liz and Musi has declined Chuck and has moved over to Kai to call Kai out. Is that a good trade? As long as I get the call out. As long as he gets the call out, he don't care. So there you're good, man. So there you have it. So Lizzie versus Kai, first pair in the invitational class. All right, call outs are done. Uh, so we're in the driver's meeting. Adam's calling me, calling me, calling me. So I knew something was wrong. So I ended up answering the phone. He says, you know, number eight hole is leaking 85%. Adam just called me. He's changing a piston. A first pair, so I didn't know that. We don't have enough time to change a piston. I told him to go ahead and do it. Because, I mean, what are we going to do? Go up there and blow the engine up, not have a chance to go to second round? Or we're going to try to fix it and make it up there for first round? What sucks is Lizzie's here to get her 10 points. She called me out to give me 10 points for first round because I'm sucking. If I can't get my car fixed and get it up there and go down the racetrack, neither one of us gets 10 points. Lines are on, you start oil in. Alright. Don't put it in this hole. Start putting oil in. You got a funnel or out. How much oil do you think we should put in it? Whatever we took out. But the pan was up. Huh? I didn't clean the pan out. Don't we didn't drain the pan oh, okay. out. Okay. So eight quarts. That's not good. There's no power coming out of that hole leaking 85%. So not to mention, apparently the rings must have stuck. Staying underneath the cabinet. So this car that we brought from the West Coast to the East Coast is a completely different car. We don't know what's wrong with it. But at this point, I think we got 25 or 30 minutes. So it's pretty rough. Might not make first round. Might be a first round loser again. And I'm sick of that. You know, uh, we're not used to doing bad. We put in the hard work to do good and this we're just fighting this new car. Like that? You try it. Happens. 
Ty is struggling right now with his car, so I decided to call him out for first round of Invitational. I'm here in Norwalk with Norma Jean. My car is street car to this race. It's pretty much like bringing a knife to a gunfight, so I mean, what do you do? We're here to just get our 10 points and do the best we can and uh, move forward to the next race. Did somebody, did somebody tighten up that uh, fuel rail in the back? It's loose. That's probably why I was acting crazy. What? Did you check? Fuel rail is set. Did you run the fuel to see if any leaks? We're here. That's all I can say. And we haven't quit. We've been through hell to get to where we're at right now. We've checked everything we can possibly check. It's a bad feeling going up there for first round, knowing that you checked every water fit and every oil fit and every fuel line. Because, you know, you can get water on the racetrack, spin out and hit the wall. You can leak fuel, catch it on fire. You know, you, just things that you don't want to do real, real fast. And we just done it really fast. So hopefully it's worth it, because we are putting in some work. My crew is working their ass off. We did it in 38 minutes. Pretty good. We gotta be up there about eight minutes ago, though. Y'all grab a roll of duct tape and a tire pressure gauge. We're going racing, boys. Oh, we need to roll, right. boys. Hopefully, I can get a good test pass and maybe things will turn around. But as for right now, it's the worst weekend of racing I've ever had in my life. Broke everything I own. I'm hoping I said, Kai, whatever you do, don't screw up. Make a run here. I mean, he has a car to go more rounds, I don't. All right, folks, here we go. This is a call out right here over in the left lane. Lizzie Musi, she is going up against her other half over in the right lane. That will be Kai Kelly. Kai Kelly over there in that right lane. Hey, about beat me. Shut up. <laughs> you way out on me. What happened? As soon as that green light comes on, I let go of the transferring. Kai, like, blew past me, but I guess he shook a little bit. He got out of it. And, like, I was getting closer and closer and closer to him. Like, I cannot. I almost passed him right at the end. He was able to get there first, but it made it kind of like a close race. Norma Jean made a run, though. And he, everybody was like, damn, she almost. First round draw, who do I get? Same guy I took out third round at Minnesota, which is Scott Taylor. I got out on him, and that's where it stayed. Car was flying. Well, last night for the grade eight, we had motor trouble. So we spent most of the night putting the brand new bullet in. I seen smoke out that side. I'm like, what the hell's going on? You know, not all the motors are exactly the same. So Junior had a concern. I said, you know what? Turn that up and I'll drive it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I'm on it. So we're at Houston Raceway, in the heat, 100 degrees. Round one, we drew Jeff Lutz. And the car before me, James Strang, he oiled down the whole starting line very bad right in front of me. See, right here is really bad. We need to straddle that. The time that it takes for them to clean it up and us actually running this round, that's where it's difficult, because it gets in your head. Good luck, sir. Do what you do, man. Thank you. That's all we can do. We play the hand we dealt. That's right, be safe. You too, that's the main thing. As a tough draw for first round, I don't think either one of us wanted that draw. So I can promise you one thing, we're going with ascended attitude, so nothing will be left on the table. Nice job, Jeffrey, nice job. 
Gave me a hot rod, my friend. Hell yeah! How was that, mama? That's good. I was nervous. Not you! <laughs> <laughs> I was I was really nervous. All that hard work last night and no sleep paid off. We got to get on to round two and just keep stacking up the points. That made being tired worth it. <laughs> my eyes are bloodshot. I got <laughs> my eyes now. Yeah, it did make being tired worth it. <laughs> well, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. Look, Kayla Morton is fast, and she's higher than me in points. Um, last night, she had a mishap. Broke a fuel line and the car got loose. She tried to save it. She did an awesome job. Unfortunately, the last little whip uh, hit the wall and broke the front end. Um, and so she's done for the weekend. I drew her. So um, like I said, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. So we get a first round buy right here. I put some power to it. We're going to make a nice little test pass for second round and uh, gain some points. So here we are, round two. 405 has four people. Noah has two. And guess what? 405 draws each other. I draw my teammate, Jeff Lutz. Man, he's on a roll the last couple weeks. He has kicked I've been struggling. So uh, fast as Jeff is, I definitely turned the knob up and hit plus, 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 and then added one more plus. So it's either going to blow up or be completely out of control, or it's going to be bad fast. Chuck's gonna leave here with a win. So, either way, it's gonna be a good damn time. So round two, we got Chuck, Ryan, Dave, and me. You know what? I was looking around in that group of guys again. Everybody's fast, you know? And don't you know I drew my boy Chuck? But there's nothing we can do, you know what I mean? To get points, I gotta beat everybody, and that means Ryan, Dave, Chuck, anybody in that meeting. So we're gonna play this no different. We're gonna turn it up and keep on rolling. But Chuck going to take the win, and we'll move on to the next round. Work change. Oh, really? <laughs> Damn it. Car got loose on the big end. I sucked the car in the wall. It bent the exhaust, broke the door. <laughs> and so the exhaust came right in the car. I was throwing up when I pulled up here. I just lost oxygen. We tore up the car a little bit, but we made it to the next round. That's what I wanted to do. It sucks I beat my buddy Lutz. He had car problems. Um, but here I am. I am going to the final eight. Now look at the wishbone and everything. Yeah, something. It may have broke the door. I don't know. I can't tell. But I mean, just get get it get it off there. Yeah, it broke the door 
Okay, we got some. We got fiberglass. This. Uh, whoever can do fiberglass work, we yeah, need. Yeah, see where it just crack it loose down at the bottom. Yeah, maybe or, and put some bolts and nuts. Do something. Okay. We gotta do something. Let's make sure the wishbone's not broke. Right. Make sure the car's not to where we can't race it. That, I mean, that that, that we, we can. can patch. We can bolt that together. Let's get it up. Um, let's make sure the wishbone's not broke. I'm happy for Chuck. He's going on to the third round. No better guy to happen, you know, to one of my teammates. I'd rather lose to him than somebody else. Take me seven seconds. Why did it red light me? Something about Larson going to the with a golf cart. Larry's car, he couldn't make it up to the lanes. So he he was just being funny and said, I'm gonna run you with the golf cart. Apparently nobody told this to this to the tower. They activated the tree as if there was just one car. So when Larry turned on his beam, it it red lit me. We're just glad to move on to the next round. I'll promise you if he red lit, that <laughs> it was set for one car, and they had, yeah. And then it, and then it cut Birdman so it, off. So it red lit Birdman, though. No, no see, no, see, look at Chuck. Which hey. side? Look at Chuck. Oh, Which side God. was the red light on? No. So I can hear Chuck over there running his mouth about Larson winning the race. You know, the only reason why he's doing that is because Birdman is direct competition to Team 405. And you know what? I'm not going to let this stand. Bird can take that raggedy ass trailer and truck, and he can head back to Houston hey, right now. Folks, you won't believe what's happening down here in the starting line. Chuck is over here trying to say Birdman's out due to the malfunction of the tree. Chuck, you can Chuck, talk all you want, but I'll tell you, if he red lit, he's out. Don't put that in my face. Hey, you ain't got to get all upset about it. No, I'm just saying, no, don't talk about it. Talk about me. I'm not talking you. I'm not talking about you. I'm having a conversation. Where am I? You. You. You can go there. You want to go there? Right here, you'll do it. Right here, come on. Hey, 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 microphone yeah about birdman <laughs> i was just up at the line talking trash having fun i know birdman won the race fair and square and now it's gonna happen now i'm gonna i'm gonna knock him the out you wait pretty much it turned physical right and you know any grown man ain't gonna stand there and get water thrown on their face so to me you have now challenged me to a duel it's time to go he can get it again when he comes over here. I don't give a f He wants to actually like square up. I don't give a f I had to grab Chuck and somebody grabbed Boosted. Hey, Boosted got away. Yeah, Boosted ran away. <laughs> There's a true rivalry between Texas and 405, and it got between Boosted and Chuck. Nobody's safe. There's definitely a rivalry. We're not all one big happy family here. It's 405 against Texas. Right here. Come on. The rivalry between Texas and Oklahoma goes way back. But in No Prep Kings, Texas. it's not just about state pride. Here we go. There's $40,000 each race on the line. After nine events, game on, baby. The points champion wins an extra $100,000. That's over $400,000 in one season. No other no prep series offers near this much money. With so much at stake each race, tensions are going to run high this season between the drivers, their teams, and the state they represent. I know you're not hurt, I'm, but I'm saying. I, I'm perfectly good. Yeah. Some things got heated. Uh, you know, Chuck and Boosted had words. It was a whole Oklahoma, Texas thing. When you've got a bunch of group of guys with a lot of testosterone flying around, that can happen. But we're here to race. We don't need anybody going to the hospital. 
I fell short the first two seasons. I don't plan on that happening again. So I drew Kelly Blue Ball first round. I've raced him a couple times. He's never beat me. I'm going to take advantage of that and move forward. First two seasons, the 405 has been at each other's throat to get to the top, and I'm, I'm as guilty as anybody is. But just like we've always done on the street, when we come together, we're almost unstoppable. And I think so far it's really helped us out. Good run, dude. Hey, good run to you, brother. Marilyn, I owe every single one of y'all an apology for everything that just happened. That's all I can say is I'm sorry. Y'all don't need to see that stuff. Take care of business. We got a new strategy this season, Team 405, teamwork. If we all come together, we are going to be undefeatable. So that was probably the best thing that could have happened. My name's Axe Man. I drive a 63 twin turbo Chevy 2. I plan on kicking ass this year, actually. I mean, the car is flying. Still shaking, still shaking to a spin. $40,000 should be enough for anybody to race for. I don't know why he Chuck thinks he's gotta be Billy Badass and add two grand on the top of it. Just like he called out a broke car and they wouldn't race him. Well then he tries to add $2,000 pot to me when he knows I ain't even made a pass, not even one full pass. Last season we run a nitrous combo. Over the winter we made a ton of changes. We actually put a big block Chevrolet with a Pro Charger in it. And right before the season started, a few weeks out, we had a catastrophic failure. So we started all the way over from square one. So today we're gonna be just trying to make it to the next round. Let us get it figured out. And I'm gonna make him turn it down every week. Chuck's gonna be saying, yeah. no, nah, I don't want none. Leave that out, yeah, leave that out. This season, the gloves are off and the 405 and I are fighting for every win. We aren't going down to Texas again. And now that Boosie got in my face, things got a little physical, that's just one more reason to dominate today. OKC is killing it so far. We got six guys moving on, and I'm going to be the seventh moving into round two. I don't know what happened in high gear. The car was sluggish, didn't have the power I needed. I'm going home, he's moving on. Look, today, my car didn't perform, my temper got the best of me, and I'm a spectator from here on out. We are in Steele, Alabama. Uh, never raced here before, but the track is pretty badass. I'm really excited to race on it. I chose Rhonda to go out for the chip draw because I just couldn't handle the tension right now. So she ended up getting Bodie. Uh. We gotta deal with this right here, right now. <laughs> I got a tumble right here. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Lindsay, tough, man. She's trying to uppercut me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go, Lindsay. I gotta go 3 and 0 on you. I'm counting everything. Okay, remember the Jeep. You gotta remember the Jeep, right? I haven't raced Bodie since we were out in the streets, and he's kicked my ass every time. So uh, hopefully, I can get a little revenge on him. I'm 2 and 0 trying to go 3 and 0. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Thank you buddy. Good luck. Good luck. Be right, safe. You too. Good luck. Be safe. That blue car he's running this weekend is pretty fast, and the track's good, so it could take a pretty good amount. We feel pretty good from last night, the way the car was performing, so we're just going to do our normal deal and hopefully make a good pass against him. We're getting down to the wire now. After this race, we got one more race left. So this is going to be a really big game changer and a tuner's race here. With these nitrous cars, good air is going to make these cars have a lot more power than they normally do. So we got to learn to just tame the beast.
gets the win, clear the starting line as Bodie gets into the wall. The car made a good run, felt good, and I make the run, I get the win, and my guy, Ryan, gets on the radio and says, oh, Bodie hit the wall. Is he OK? So Bodie off the track already. Brushed the wall down there. Okay, he just brushed it, all right. Car made a move about half track. So Lizzie will move on to the next round. I'm gonna let Rhonda draw for me again. <laughs> yeah, not a bad draw. Well, not because of that, but I don't know. I have no look at drawing. Okay? Yeah. I don't know how I knocked the tires off so hard like that. Damn. The car left great. As soon as we got midway, I seen her pop out by the trunk to the back of the car, a real fast car like that, only about a car in front of me right there at that time of the track. The next end of the track is blown to me. I feel like the turbo cars eat right there. So I was real confident, and right in the middle of that race, I seen her, I said, oh, I got her. And then right away, bam, no control, right to the wall, man. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you see that? Oh, right through the block. Did you? Dude, and he had that. Popped up, dude. She was only right there, and it was finna get to the 3.30. You know, that <laughs> run. As soon as it started making power, hold through the block. I mean, I didn't have no control. Yeah. It just said, whoa! I got my neck pretty good. You I hurt, like, you hurt right now? Yeah. yeah. It hit hard. It hit hard. I was in fully full boogie when I <laughs> full oh, boogie. Looks yeah. like you saved it from getting worse, though. Yeah, she was, she was, it only hit the back. Yeah. And the door's still decent, look. Yeah, just barely scraped the yep. door. She, uh, she's blue. I didn't see her early. I was like, oh, she did. Then I was like, boom. I was like, oh, she's too close. It's the same thing with Scott, dude. I didn't. I, that was a close race. That was a close he got, race. He, had he to got get, you at the end. He you had to get me right at the end. You left on him. Yep, you left on him. I was like, yeah, he came right. I was behind you running, man. I thought we had it. I was I was for sure I had it, but yeah. I guess he got a little more horsepower out back there. I yeah, need he passed. A, I need to find. He's so. Yep, he passed. Yeah, we found out. Broke a rod, straight through the block, oil on the tires, straight to the wall, man. <sighs> It was a bang, man. I'm shook up a little bit, a little headache, but it ain't nothing. You know, I take bruises. That's what I do. So we fix this car and come on back. We had my car running. This is just my luck. Dude, this car running so good. I, I thought I was going to surprise the people. I really think I was going to outrun it right there. I it think did. I had it. She was too close. It's been to running this, good all day, dude. She was too all close all to this turbo. Yep. Yeah. And I know how fast the car is. I just ain't never put it down out here. You know. I was hoping to show the world, but it is what it is. We beat the car up, hurt the motor, and it just happened. So I got to show them next time, man. You'll get it fixed up. Yeah. Last yeah. week it was bad. Oh, man. Really bad. You know, and it wasn't the track. No, the track was pretty good. Yeah, the track yeah. was amazing. I think some of the bumps were affecting some cars different, though. I, that blows my mind, because I've seen the guys. It didn't affect me. I, no. Man, it didn't affect me at all. I think this is the first time we've raced Jeff Lutz in the uh, Invitational. Um, we drew him first round. We're 10th pair. Uh, we got right lane. I guess the intake exploded on his motor last night, so he just put a whole fresh new motor in the car, and hopefully he has a good pass, but hopefully we can get around him. We ran a pretty good run yesterday in the grudge match, and uh, we beat Odom, so um, car's running good last time, you know, at the last track we were at, so I think we got a pretty good chance. Well, good luck. All right, you too. Yep, yep. I drew Dave Atkins. He's fast. I mean, everybody says, well, it's LS, this, that, but it's fast. <laughs> Last night, we stayed up all night. We hurt that motor. Last weekend, racing Kai in the finals. The new motor's in. We're fresh, ready to go. We're in a points race right here, and I can't take it easy on the first pass like I would normally want to. We just got to stay with it. This thing's going to haul ass. I've got confidence in my crew. My son is a tuner, and man, we just got to go for it. left together everything was good I was right with them I mean I'd say at the end maybe lost by a car I wish we could have went on the second round but we did good I mean Jeff's uh, fourth in points right now so he's got a really fast car and I feel, I feel like uh, you know we're getting close that was the first hit on this motor it was a little slow down low but uh, 
I grabbed the button and she woke right up. So I think we're gonna be okay. We'll just get ready for second round and give her a hill. Murder Nova will move on to the next round. That was a close race, dude. Damn. Hey, I barely came around him at the end, man. I let go of the button. Car hauls ass. It goes straight. I saw him the whole way. I just barely came around him, clipped him at the end. He made a good lick. I made a good lick. I turbo uh, in the end, went around him, took the win. There's two drivers that already have a head start on the rest of the pack. Ryan Martin and Jerry Bird already have points before the point series has even started. The race for the championship is on. This is a new change. I don't usually go first. Yeah, so, so I get now to you watch just sit here and watch. Great, I get to come watch you kick Robin's ass. Man, dude, I, I need to win this race. A 100% chance. I, I got to win this race. This is for, I ain't putting no pressure on you, but this is for. Hey, turn them headlights off or that battery will go dead. This is for the 405. This is for Sean Ellington. Murder Nova, uh, and just, I mean, listen, it's right now it's the battle of who got the baddest turbo car. And I'm pretty sure it's you. First points race, and if we make the passes that we made yesterday, I'm not scared to race anybody on the property. Robin Roberts isn't the person that you want first round, though. He's fast. He's always fast. I'd say he's within the top five of the people that's here. So outrunning him today and getting this first win is going to prove something to myself. And this is the first step that I need to get done what I want to get done. And that's be at the top of the points leadership. Green, but be alert. So I think we've been faster than Sean for a, a long time, but he's been getting faster. So we were, we're getting a little faster. So I think he's closed that gap. Now we get to see where we are. We've struggled to be great. When we lose, it's first round. So. This hot Sunday track will be a challenge for us. I feel good about it. There are guys you don't want to draw. You don't, really don't want to draw Sean, but we'll take it. Put your foot up there like that. Don't get it in front of the tire because you had to pull it out and around and it set the pre-stage off. Okay? So just be careful. Because that almost cost him because Sean went in and let both bulbs because of why it happened. So it almost it almost got him red lit. I was on the two-step forever. Transmission smoked, the converter smoked. And the whole time I'm over there, I'm going, seven seconds has got to be up pretty soon. It's got to be up pretty soon. It just took forever for the light to drop. Dude. I was holding my button down and it wouldn't move. It finally did. I understand why you'd be upset. It's racing, man. I assure you I did not do that on purpose. I, I didn't figure you did, man. Hey, stop. Hey, it's a, hey stop. No, that's Do nothing wrong. Hey. Other than put her foot in the beam. Huh? Other than put her foot in the beam, the only reason you started doing yours is because you thought he lit his top beam, so you started spilling up. I knew it felt like a, a long seven seconds. This is a different level type of race, and know your if he's going to have her up there doing that. So that wasn't his tire, that was her foot. That was her foot. He didn't roll the first beam and then back up. 
They're going to try to fight that. Once I see their top bulbs light, I look down at my gauges, make sure my car's building boost, make sure the RPM's right. So as soon as I saw him light the top bulb, I stuck it. Started building boost, looked down. Well, I didn't know it was her foot. So his wife's foot tripped the beams. Well, shortly after that, she pulled her foot out of the beams, and then he waited another three seconds before he rolled into the top beam. I'm over there popping and banging, and, and I lost the race. Could it be because my transmission smoked? Could it be because the converter's on fire? Probably. You know, the car slowed way down that pass. It slowed way down from the tune that I had in it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was Mel. But... Oh, I know it was. I was watching. I was watching. I absolutely, and I told her where she was walking off, what she did. Yeah, did do you, do you, well, the only thing, I only want to say anything to was Mel. Yeah, I saw what happened. Yeah, she chipped the lights a little bit. Yeah, she she hit her foot. She, instead of having her instead of having her foot out here, she had her foot here. And so when you pulled up, she went to drag her foot out. Well, she had to take another step. Well, when she did, she took her foot like this, and just flickered it, and took another step. Oh, it turned it on. Yeah, it was it on, and I'm off. like, holy hell! Well, as soon as it was on, he was already in, right? He already had his lit. So as soon as it came on, then he decked it. And then, and when she moved back, then she pulled it out of there, but it wasn't just a flicker, it was on. So that's what happened. Hey, come tell me what you think I should do. Hey, my smoked. It smoked the converter, it smoked yeah, the transmission. I'm sure. Well, I get why it didn't second, treat him red. Yeah. Because she came when out she and came started, out of the beams, it reset it resets everything. resets everything, right? Yeah. If your crew member is, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I like Robin, but it seems like his MO is, let's just do whatever we gotta do. We'll apologize for it later. Cause he jumped out of the car. I'm so sorry, man, I'm sorry. And I'm like, dude, the transmission smoked, converter smoked. If this whole situation would have happened to any other racer except Robin, I'd probably let it slide, but that's his MO. Robin is the guy where it doesn't matter what he's gotta do to get the win, he'll step on everybody until it's over and then beg for forgiveness. Last season, he bullied Brandon James into DQing himself, and that's just unheard of. Jump the light. Ain't no way he gets out like that without jumping the light. Uh, what I did wasn't on purpose. I got antsy, I promise you. If you don't go over the scales, everything's good. You go on the scales, can't be friends anymore. Yeah. Are you serious? What? How big of a does Robin Roberts have to be to go, I'm not going to be your friend no more unless you DQ yourself and drive by the scales? Did that really happen? Yes. Robin's also got into it with Swanstrom, his own teammate, over something that's just clearly an accident. Did you guess that tree? I didn't mean to do that. It wasn't purpose. Y'all need to get your before you think somebody's I say something to him? We told you the truth. MPK is as cutthroat competition as it gets out here. Uh, you can't give anybody anything or they're going to take advantage of it. I 100% believe I would have won that race if Robin's wife would have stepped in the beams. What's up? What's your options? I think I can outrun him. Okay. I was catching him on that one, yeah. and the drive shaft looked terrible. It yeah. was way slower than my other pass. Yeah. There's protesting. The question is, do you want to ride that or not? I know. I think the only thing to do that makes any sense is to rerun it. It's the only way to make it fair. This is for a lot of money, a lot of points, and it wasn't your fault. the wall. Green light drops, we'll take off. This thing made a good move out of the hole, and then we hit about midway, and it took off towards the wall. I tried to stay with it a little bit, just try to stay out in front of him, and I had to pedal it, pull it back over, get out of it, get back in it, and it was very close to the strike. I had to look up and see if I got the wind light or not. That's how close and how nervous I was about it. It, he, it appeared that he got to stay in and make a full pass, and I was over there pedaling and jacking around. So I got the W, we got the points, but now I got to be ready for the next round. So this is pretty much what we raced her with last night. Well, we're going to live and die by Yep. Why are you racing next? Uh, Lizzie. I got Lizzie next. Yes, 
Second round, I got Lizzie. I raced her last night. We've raced a bunch lately. Seems like every time I turn around, I'm always racing in the grade eight, and I always end up with her at least once in the Invitational. We've had a pretty good run against her. Uh, I think we'll, you know, I think we have a pretty good shot. I'm gonna go right now and go walk. Temperature's going down. Track should come around to us. The one great thing is all the 405 didn't draw each other. How cool would it be if we can all end up in next round? That would be pretty awesome. So, we'll see what happens. Get it, dog. Thanks, man. Now I got the lovely uh, Ryan right now. Yeah, I think the lovely lady better. You think so? I do. I might be joining you guys here shortly. Second round, end up drawing Ryan Martin. And that's when, you know, felt like we didn't have enough passes to get to where we want to be to run Ryan. You know, the car is not 100%. I'm like on edge. I know. Normally I got ain't. Butterflies right now. I know. I'm normally not. I know. Yeah, I got butterflies. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, when you run Ryan, you gotta throw the kitchen sink at it. So we had to put a fast tune up in it. We can just leave anything on the table. We have to beat this guy. I mean, there has to be a stop to him, and I feel like we have a car that could do it, but we're not all the way there. The left lane, representing Team Nola, Lizzie Musi. She has got a tough draw. Is over in the right lane. Your current points leader from the 405, Ryan Martin. Okay. You okay, baby? The door, the door's stuck. Gotta check on Lizzie. Make sure she's okay. You all right? No. No. Okay. Where are you hurt? My head. Your head. Hold tight for a minute. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? Any time. Go one, two. My head. Guys, everyone that's not PP, move away. Can you feel me touching you? It hurts right here because it's slammed back and, back and forth. forth. Okay. Are you able to move your eyes and look at me? Can you blink your eyes? What day is it? I don't even know. Do you know what city you're in? Huh? Do you know what city you're in? Yeah. Uh, I thought you said what seat I'm sitting in. My yeah, well, what's that? That makes sense. What okay. city are you in? Tucson. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll help you on out then. Yeah. Exactly yeah. like you normally do. Just conscious. You're dizzy? Right. All your are you nauseous? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to your left, OK? I'm not, I'm good, I'm good. Stop, I'm not laying on that. Just no, on I'm not, I'm just laying on that. We're not going anywhere. Hey, We're going to sit about, down. How about we walk you to the back of our ambulance, okay? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. My head hurts. We got ready for this round. We do our burnouts, and this is what I remember. As soon as that light turned green, I felt like I left on them really good. Right around 330 feet, it shook a little bit. The car just got loose, turned left, right into the wall. Still got the win, not the way I wanted to. Great light affecting you right there? Yeah. 
this is probably one of the most gnarliest crashes I've dealt with in my career racing. When I hit that first time, it literally shook my head sideways back and forth and everything was spinning. I was like literally out of it. The longer you race, the faster you go. It's just, it's gonna happen. It's all part of it. We're out here, it's competitive and we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta see if he's man enough not to make you go across the scales or not, but you won that race. Oh, you can tell him get all this stuff while the car wins. That's awesome. You gotta be with it. Yeah. Why? You gotta be with it. We'll get you in the car if that's what he wants to do. And just stop at the scales and let you stand on it. Don't, don't pass the scales with this car. So Ryan's way in his car. Oh, you still here? Yeah. They say she didn't see a cross or anything? So no, she won. Scale? Yeah. But Ryan's scaling his car right now. So we got we got to unload it. How are we going to scale it? Unload it on the scales, put all the pieces on there. Yeah. Do you want her to wait? No, don't do that. No. Yep. No problem. Is she gonna be all right? No, we're gonna go to the hospital. Yeah. Go take care. Roll her over on the gurney. Wait at and then wait at gurney. Oh yeah, no, don't worry about it. You know the car is. I know, I know, I know, I know. Wait, I know it. I know. Look, I know the deal. It's all good. Yep. So, well, we already swapped coils. Tried that. Swap plug. Tried that. Now I'm swapping injectors. Trying that. And there's a bunch on. more fuel in there, correcting. In number two? Yeah. It only does the five thousand the shakes for more riding scan. Okay. Here we are, Rockingham, North Carolina. We have been working on the car since Thursday night. We don't have any good data. Nothing's working right. The boost controller wasn't working right. Grab that computer and stick in there. That computer, oh, it's laying on the ground right there, plugged in. Right before the driver's meeting, before I go up and draw Axeman, one of the fastest guys in the parking lot, we fix the car. Look, I'm not turning it down. There's no one slow here at Rockingham, so uh, we don't know what's gonna do, but this has a bad tune up in it, and if it goes down, Axeman is going home early. I need to drain pew tank. Uh, pew tank tank, yeah, few. I haven't been to a No Crip King race since the third event back in Pennsylvania, but I'm back here in North Carolina. It's right next to my home state of Virginia. So I drew Chuck Seitzinger. He's changed his combination, 481X, twin turbo, same thing Ryan won multiple championships with. So Chuck ought to be in extraordinary fast. I feel like we're basically first off the trailer. We're number two. It won't be really much rubber down. That should be tricky for both of us. And I'm hoping I can pull that off and uh, get that win. It's still burning, I'm telling you. It's still burning. Hey, 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 uh, it could have been a lot worse, I know that. So. I heard the car make a boom, and I said, whoop, just got my pro charger. All of a sudden, I felt the flames come up on my feet, working its way up. The flames were coming under the hood and everywhere. I said, I'm in trouble here, man. Bailed out. And then once I realized I was safe, I looked back and like, my whole dream money, it's like, man. <laughs> Started th thinking about the car, like, that's a life of money there to get that out. I was like, man, my whole life is gone. Eventually they got everything out and uh, like say, I could realize I could fix the car and I was good, so we had actually won that race. We gonna make next round. <laughs> I made sure not to cross the center line. I said, I'm making the next round. <laughs> Most likely I won't come back to the next two races. I'm gonna just redo the car this winter and get it ready and uh, hopefully come out strong next season. It's running so good. Life in the fast lane, baby. <laughs> All right, 
Well, you think that'll burn itself in there? In that it, it should, as long as the holes are right, sis. Yeah. Of course, you know where the. He's drill got the drill set out there. Just come out there. I drew Tony McKinney for first round here in Rockingham. We've been racking our heads trying to figure out why what happened last night happened. We made a pretty good run against uh, Junior and ran out of fuel right before the finish line. So when it runs out of fuel, it torches the head and created a fire that kind of burnt all the wiring underneath the on this side of the firewall. So we spent last night and a lot of this morning trying to fix all that and got the new motor in it and just fired it up like 10 minutes ago and it runs so we'll, we'll make first round now. So round one we draw Brandon James. He hurt his motor last night. I know he put a new motor in it or he rebuilt this one. Um, that's going to play a little bit into my favor. So hopefully it does. I can make it past the first round and they'll quit calling me a first round duck. I can move on get some more points, go beyond B-Rad, and have a showing here at Rockingham. Brandon James with the win, moving on to the next round. Nice drag race right there. I let go of the button, I'm out on him. Car shifts into high gear, it lays back on the wheelie bars, hikes the front wheels. He probably beats me by a bump or a fender. Is it real close? It was close. It's so hard to tell at that speed. Yeah, you know, everybody thinks that they know what's going on. Those speeds that we're running, it's hard to really tell, but he got me. Unfortunately, it just wasn't my day. Good job, man. Yes, sir, you too. Good job, man. This motor's running fantastic, bro. But after this race, for sure, got to replace some rings and bearings, at least. So we got, what, 22 passes on now. Ryan Martin got new rods and pistons in there every 12. We ain't got that program. <laughs> we'll get there, not today. Not today. <laughs> Tim Brown, man, um, can't take him lightly, man. He's a fast car, fast competitor. I just got to be fast, too, man. I think we got him covered, but I'm, I'm not going to take him lightly. I'm going to go out there and do my thing. But right now, I'm just trying to shake the points up, man. Cause a little havoc and make a little people mad, you know? That's what I'm here for, man, just to win. So I, I, I say 15 at the end of the year, I'll be happy. I'm at 20 right now, so just to move up that point ladder. Well, we're at Rockingham, and car's working really good. We draw Bodie Jr., which I actually, I run him one other time on Race Your Way In in Columbus. The car broke in the burnout box. He got the win. We need the points. I mean, I'm at the bottom of the ladder. I'm so far down. When they announce your name, I was the first one to get announced. So I go, I'm last. They go, no, you're first. And I go, I go I'm not, I'm last. The track's kind of tricky. About 400 feet out, there's a transitional little bump. Once you get through that rough patch, it, it, it gets good. Let the sun go down, it's going to be some fast passes. But as of right now, in the sun, it's going to be a rough. All right, folks, next pair, Tim Brown in the right lane, going up against Bodie Jr. in the left. It's the first race of the season. It's for no points, but my luck's been I blew my car up. First round of testing. Pulled up here, put a motor in. Look Birdman. at Birdman. Remember oh, Birdman? there he is. Bad. Give me the break, man. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. You fast, man. When you gonna, uh, when you gonna paint your car, man? Never. <laughs> when I, if I beat you, I'm gonna paint that car. How about that? All right, good. I pulled Birdman. Going by the last couple seasons, he's been a great draw, but 
He does have his car running a lot better now, and uh, I'm not going to take him lightly. We're going to try to go even faster than we went last time, which was fast, and uh, I'm going to beat him. That's what we got to do. So if you beat me right now before Virginia, you have your car painted? Yes. <laughs> All right. Man. I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> Wait, what do I get? Huh? What do I get? And I just painted my car. Oh. <laughs> James Finney, a.k.a. Birdman, 69 Camaro. That's my car. Man, I just drew Kai. Kai is really fast. I actually think my car will out 60 foot his. I'm struggling on the top end. I don't know what's going on with this car, but it will not stay planted up top. So I'm going to pull some power out, but I'm going to get after it early. Hopefully, I can get around Kai and stay ahead of him. Kelly, Kelly, turns on the wind light. Nice pass over there in the left lane. Race, man. Race, man. I'm beside you, but <laughs> yeah, I seen you over there. I, it's closed for a while. What if I go ahead and let this correct more though? Here. Yeah. Yep. I mean, we're racing Kai Kelly. He's. You can't be conservative when you race him. Arguably right? one of the best out here. There he is. There's those racers that you don't want to get, and Kai's one of them. He's right up top, man. He's he's top three out here. It doesn't matter if it's track, street. He's always, at, you know, at the top of the leaderboard. Kai doesn't mess up very often. So, it, it, like, if you've got to pedal it or the car moves one way or the other, like. Well, then I don't think that we can go wrong with putting a faster tune up in it, right? We can't turn this deal down and outrun Kai. No, Kai's not the guy you turn down for. You know, at the end of the day, I like my chances. All I got to do is go up here and not suck. Adam had to do a lot more to make this car go. I got Murder Nova. He's not an easy draw, but I think I got something for him. Good thing about drawing the fast guys early is you, you get them out the way. You don't have to race them tonight whenever they got their car figured out. He beat me a few times on the street, but uh, that's what he does. You know, he's, he's good at street racing, so uh, I think I got the advantage. Both cars are super fast. Let's see which one can get there first. Had to get out of it up against the wall. That's all it took. We had him, man. We had him. And we thought the track was going to be worse than what it was. The car dead hooked on the starting line with tire smoke and drove through it. The only reason I won the race is because he had to abort the run, though. So I uh, got lucky. I left and I went <laughs> right, baby. <laughs> hey, and then car turns sideways and you were gone, man. It's always a gamble when you race somebody who you know is fast and has their together. He made a consistent pass and, and he won. So uh, I feel like we'd have won the race, but I made it a little bit too hot. Nice job, man. Nice <laughs> Thank job. You, pushing after, after shot. It was pushing after so went up there for second round of chip draw and I got none other than my son, Kai Kelly. When it's time to go against each other, we're both competitive and we both want the win. Last year, I beat him. He also beat me too. And we're gonna see what happens going into this race right now. I'm ready for it, and let's go out there and see what happens. What you think about Kai? I think he took Sean a little too lightly, so he ain't gonna do that with you. <laughs> well, Sean out in front. What happened to Sean? Got loose. Shook. Shot right hard. Kind of like your car. We know we went down last round. We tweaked it up a little bit. What we don't want to do is we don't want to tweak it up too much Do we go out there, overpower the tire, overpower the track, and give Kai the race. It's been driving straight here lately. It's what I'm doing good. Tamed her down, didn't you? Gave her the spurs. 
I like to gamble, so I think my car and my program is running extremely well right now. So I asked Kai if he wanted to run for some money. So me and Kai have a bet on the line right now for $500 to see who wins this race. This is it. Got to win this one. You got all people. Let's see who I got to beat. Justin's not fast. He, he's slow, actually, but he's got a big mouth. So uh, anytime I can kick his it's perfect. It makes for a good day for me. I'm going to him up. One thing about the tune that's in it, if you get out there, if it goes past 100 foot, it's gone. It's gone. I, yeah. I'll bet everything I got on that one. Yeah. Cause ain't a faster car out here. You and Lizzie, yeah. right now. Nola's always got the better win percentage than any other team. We only got five people. And they're scared of us. We do it all the time, and we'll do it again this year. Justin Swanson, he's starting to be my biggest rival out here, and uh, he kicked his ass just like I said I was gonna do. I'm still his pappy. He hadn't beat me in over a year, and uh, I ain't planning on letting it start no more. So uh, every time he drives me, I'm gonna give him what I just gave him. Good run. <laughs> I didn't even make a good run, man. What happened? Dude, I'm carrying all the weight. <laughs> I told you, it's hard. That's why weight killed me. I figured you was gonna me on a tree, so I went ahead and changed it up. I knew it was gonna be a dog fight. We both took the beams. I thought I could play with them a little bit on the tree. I counted the five Mississippi in my head before I rolled in. I actually think I left on him on the tree. I kept peeking out the side of my eye trying to see where he was at on the track. But dude, he just come around me at the other end. It was like a photo line finish. And he got the win. Put your hands together for our invitational drivers. We're down to four, folks. Man, oh man. Buddy. You too, man. We've done this so many times. That one. Give her all she's got. It's so. it's same. So whenever you're racing somebody from your own team, especially Nola, it's a, it's a huge accomplishment because everybody on our team is fast. Me and Scott, we're going to take them to battle. We're going to give them everything they got. At the end of the race, whoever wins, we're gonna shake hands, give each other a hug, on to the next one. Beside me, this thing is hauling ass. I look over and I see silver. I said, Oh, it was a hell of a drag race. It was side by side, and I beat Scott by maybe a fender. That was a close, close, close race. Close race, man. Kai inched us out. Week in, week out, it seems like we're getting beat by inches, and I don't even know what to do next to try to pick those inches up. But we're staying in the top five. Hopefully, we moved into fourth this week. And, man, I'm, I'm so excited about that, but yet I want more. <laughs> yep. No, it was a good race. Good race. My car up, but it's all good. Sorry, it's okay. Right. It's okay. We're just racing. Sorry. It's all good. 
It's all good. Oh, God. He said, Lizzie, one on the last one. Oh, I didn't know this happened. I wanted to come down here and celebrate, man. I, don't, did I, did I, get, I got the wind light, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah I, I wasn't sure. That was close. I guess yours is moving around, huh? Yeah. Hers is a. Ooh, that's on the tire. Man. Yeah, it is, on, it is sitting on the tire. Man, how lucky are we that uh, we ran into each other uh, at 200 yeah, mile an hour? And the the control. I'm sorry, man. Man, you didn't need the no. drag race. Uh, did not want that to happen. Hey, we're all, it's all right, girl. We're just, it's all sorry, good. Man. Hey, we're good job. Hey, good job sorry. you, too. Well, hey, I'm way, to, way to keep it together. Yeah you, yeah, you kept it together. That could have been, probably been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Lizzie and I go up, we pre stage. Green light drops, take off. I can feel the car drifting towards the center. And then boom, I feel something. She straight up ran into me. Oh, it wasn't all her fault. We crossed the stripe together, both going towards the middle of the racetrack. She just went a little farther than I did. And that just racing, it's just part of it. It could have been way worse. That was as best as a wreck can possibly be. But I got the quarter panel caved yeah. in, it's sitting on the tire. I gotta figure out how to get this thing fixed before the final round. semifinals. We pulled off the tough win against Lizzie, and, and then we got into a little contact down there. We both got close to the center. She came across a little bit, tagged the quarter panels. Let's just double check the... Uh, right, we're going to get it all the way up in the air. Yeah. And then we're going to... All the hub bearings. Yeah, just work. check. I don't think it, the wheel took a hard hit, but... No, I meant, but, you know, just check the yeah. pretty good, you know what I mean? Uh, get it up in the air, we'll get the tire off. Okay. You know, when I wrecked, I had Jeff over there beating on the inner fender well. I had yeah, Dominator over there. That's what those two guys do. They're fabricators. Do that. Here, hold on. Hold on. Do that. Ready? Yeah. Like, as soon as I pull onto the pit mat, those guys are there with hammers going, OK, let's fix it. So it was just cool. The 405 came together yet again. And man, hopefully one day I can pay those guys back. Again, my friend. All right, here we go. Invitational finals drivers meeting is right here. Two drivers. We started at 32. Winner of this will be in sole possession of the number one spot. A little bit of contact down there, Ryan, at the other end of the track. How's the car? Is it okay to even race Kai Kelly? It was in the quarter panel. We got it pulled out, and I, I don't think it'll affect it whatsoever. So we should be good. All right, so Kai Kelly, call it in the air. Tails. Kai called Tails. It is Tails. Kai right. is lane. What lane would you want, sir? I got to ask Adam. <laughs> hey, Ryan, Kai, good luck, guys. Thanks, this is for all the marbles. There's no shortage of me racing Stinky Pinky, Lizzie, or Kai. You race them so many times, you got to lose eventually. And those guys, their game steps up every single time. No pressure. It would have been nice if you just whooped him. They don't care if you beat me. <laughs> okay, so no, no pressure, but I'd like an acrylic trophy for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'll try to get you the acrylic I don't break it. Yeah. I love you. Safe and good luck. Thank you. Give me. All right, folks, here we go. This is the final race of the night. This is what you came for, folks. We've had a really good time here at Hebron, and I don't know what it is here. A, the fans are unbelievable. All I can
can say is I got one of the best teams in the country that there is. This was a tough road for us. We're able to fix the car and wrap it back up to the finals and pull off the win. Well, Ryan Martin, congratulations. Hey, guess what? You are now number one in points for the No Prep Kings Invitational job, Series. Well-deserved, and oh, by the job, way, $50,000 richer. Hi, my name's Ryan Martin. I drive the gray ZL1 that you guys see on the show. I am the two-time season three and season four defending champion, and I'm gonna try to do it for a third time here at season five. The power plant is a Procharge Proline 564 cubic inch Hemi and a three-speed Mark Mickey transmission. It's a different season for me. Um, they've really kind of stacked the rules up uh, against the Procharger combination. Uh, this year we had to add 100 pounds from last year. The cars that were running real close to us got to drop 50 pounds. I don't know, just it doesn't feel like it's going to be a great year for us. It feel like it's going to be an uphill battle, but we got to start here. We've done a lot of testing. We've changed the car up a little bit to try to adapt. We've added the weight in the back, which the car really likes, but inevitably it still has to haul that weight around. So now we're having to try to find horsepower to get the thing to accelerate the same speed. So we're just going to have to adapt and roll with it. Well, at least we in the qualifier. Sorry, making hey, you Hey, no, you're good, man. Sorry. Good luck, sir. All right, here we go. Invitational finals. We are down to two. Battled y'all's way this entire weekend, starting off with the qualifier last night. You know, got new combos, made some changes. I know it's tough at the first race, but you two have proved that your program has not missed a beat. Both your cars are extremely fast. You've knocked out every person that's been next to you. And for that, I applaud you. Great job today just to make it to this part of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, enough of the nice talk. One of you has to go home empty-handed, and one yeah. is going to go home with $25,000. Yeah. So, first thing we're going to do is flip this coin and figure out who has lane choice. All Lizzie, right. call it in the air, man. Okay, Tails. Tails <laughs> is the call. And it is Tails. Okay, wow, well, I have luck in my life. Wins uh, the coin toss. You're doing real good. I will take the right lane. So Lizzie has chose to take the right lane, gotcha. which means Ryan Martin will be in the left lane. Y'all go get in your cars. Let's give these fans yeah. a drag race. Here we go. No talking. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey. I got to cut a light on her and be out in front of her uh, to, 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 to the 3.30. Like, it's got to be like this to the 3.30. Lizzie and I in the finals. Uh, it is an old story. We have done this several times. And here we are with a new set of rules this year. This is going to tell tale. It's going to tell tale. Oh, they're getting ready to burn it up. 100%. The rule change added weight to my combination. When you put more weight in a hot rod, it just goes slower. I'm probably going to put some of the fastest tune-up that I've ever put in here, and it's probably either going to smoke the tires or give her at least a run for her money. Hey, what's up, man? Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm in the finals with your girlfriend. Yeah, we're going to step on it a little bit more, but... I don't know if the car's got enough in it at all to, to compete with it, but I the weight we gotta cut. I don't feel like I necessarily have the hot rod to outrun her here in the finals, but I've made it this far. We're not gonna give up for sure. I'm gonna try to win it for Chuck. I mean, really, what do we do? Just put the other five in and let her go or the fuck say? That's how I think about it. I go by leaking back. Okay. I'm fine with it. Here we are rolling into the finals. Once again, running against Ryan Martin. Last time I raced him, he kicked my ass, so payback time now. So you want to go 75 or 70? 70. 70. 
We got a new motor. We got to play it safe. The air is really, it's definitely coming to us. It's going to be a good race. I honestly think it's going to be a really good race. So we got to kick his ass, and I got a lot of people behind me that wanted me to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I got to do it for Team Nola. Since I raced everyone on my team, I got to do it for them. Well, I know what you got to do here. Yeah. It's battle time. We're racing for $25,000 in cash. It's not a points race, but who doesn't want cash? Hopefully, I can take it this year. Here we go. This will be your finals for Invitational. Coming at you right now. $25,000 up for grabs. This is the final race. Girl, what what happened? I, I, I never I never see and I know that no, wasn't right. Yeah, so. it's all good, so man. What, what good happened? job. Tell me what happened. I shook. Yeah, we're at early. A little or actually early, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we go up, we do our burnouts, we stage, getting ready, that green light comes on, and I leave. I started shaking the tires. I wish it was a closer race against me and Ryan. We weren't capable of doing that tonight. Thank you guys. But this definitely was a motivation for me for the next race, and I think we're going to do good. <laughs> if we left that same tuna, we probably would have. Yeah. But it's always easier to say yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Your daddy was trying to win a race. I know. We always got a whole season in front of us, and I think it's going to be a really badass one. Ryan Martin, congratulations, sir. Way to start out season five of No Prep Kings, $25,000 richer. I'm proud of you and I'm proud of your entire team. Man, congratulations. Not that this is all about me, because it's not. No. But it all, but it's it all is. It's, it's in all seriousness. all the flyers and the stuff on the uh, internet. No. And oh, the bounty. The billboard on the thing. bounty. The bounty thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, here's the way I look we at it. We can keep going. I, I know, but here's the deal. <laughs> they, they put in these points and a half and double points. Just right. No, no, listen, because look, the, all the pressure's on Ryan. So once you went out first round last night, did Swanson get double points? Yeah. Points he and did? A half. Yeah. Points and a half. You got points, tie, you got points yeah. and a half. Points and a half. You called it. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I, remember, I, we I, talked about yeah. it. Swanson's a way back, a ways back. But, but. If he wins the, today. If it, I, it, well, it's not just today. I If I shank all of these. Yeah, I know that. And he wins to. all of them, that's how he wins. Here's the way I can describe this. I came in at the beginning of this year pretty much on point. Like, my car was running as best yes, as I could did. make it run. Everybody else was not. Yep. Well, the problem is now, here they come, because they're all getting their cars figured out. And I can't take my car and go, oh, I'm going to get my car figured out. It's been figured out. I can't, I don't have nothing else in, like, when we're like this at the 3.30 and then I just watch him do this, I don't have nothing to, timing's not going to do it. I don't have any more horsepower to give these guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm realistically, out. to win the championship, if you're, if you're outgunned, if, to win the championship, all you need is the next three races, this one, the next one, the following, decent draws the first two rounds. It's kind of a catch-22, like, all these guys running good. Well, now I kind of need to, I mean, it wouldn't be bad if a couple of those guys took out Kai. Do a draw. But not Swanstrom to well, take out Well, here's the deal. No. You need some draw. people that are further down the list no, to take I need, out Kai. I need Swanstrom. somebody else to take out Kai. I need Jim to take out Swanstrom. Yeah, oh, there you go. I don't oh, care where go. Jim goes. Just because Jim ain't gonna catch me, so nope. it don't matter. I know. You know what I mean? You like, got a new engine though, right? You got a fresh engine? Oh fresh yeah, that's bullet. a whole other thing. Why? You have a what? Broken, yeah. destroyed a lifter. Two of them. Two lifters, three and four, right next to each other. So so the backup's in right now? Backup's in, it's a great motor, but okay. the, but here's the, so here's some stuff. 
Big blower, right? I took a point of compression out of the motor to run the big blower. This one does not. This one does not have it. It has it in? So I have big so I have the big motor in with the which theoretically could mean more horsepower, or you could shake the tune up, burn the motor in. I really thought by me hanging out with Ryan, a little bit of what he has would rub off on me, but I feel like a little bit of what I have is yeah. off on him. I think, yeah, it went the wrong <laughs> way. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. supposed to get banned from yeah. Ryan's pits I, we need to and everything all around. Bobby's going to go get him the <laughs> out of here. get a chance to make the last test hit of the night. We ended up changing motors. We don't know why the motor did what it did, but sometimes it just happens, you know? It jumped the tooth when I ran against Odom. We came back, we decided to swap motors and keep the same manifold. But when you jump a tooth, I did the burnout, it like dropped the valve. And when it drops the valve, there's debris that can fly up into the manifold. And when something like that happens, you check those things, you check the manifold. But we were in such a rush last night. We put the new motor in with that manifold from the last motor and uh, we warmed it up. And then this morning, they warmed up the car and they heard it wasn't sounding right and it shot push rods out. And come to find out there was debris in that manifold and uh, it went into the motor and got it all screwed up again. So we were down two motors, one left, and we put that one in the car. We're out with a new motor. I don't know, this motor, I'm not too happy with it. The The other two, they seem to run pretty good. Um, I don't know, I feel like we don't have no luck with this motor that we're gonna run. And they're going to have to be after the gear change. How about the run we were planning on making last night? It's gonna, gonna be a pretty spicy, it's gonna be a spicy one for I had it hot, but we also got to race the racetrack. So I get my chip and I end up drawing uh, Ryan Martin. That's definitely not the guy I wanted. I know we're about 15th pair out. I mean, when you run in first round, first off, when you run first round, you're racing the racetrack. It's not going to be all that great. Um, and then you're racing a fast guy, so you also have to make a fast pass. You can't be too conservative. I need you to beat Ryan. <laughs> Did he make any good runs? Not really. And then they hurt the motor, so then they put a big motor in it. So I, so I they're feel, in the same boat like us. I feel for this first round, they're going to be conservative. So I know, but I'm telling you, I don't want to shoot ourselves in the foot. So. Uh, double and triple check. I know you did, yeah. but I'm just telling you everything. Uh, we we went fuel lines especially. Yep, Rick uh, just went over line, line like any stupid yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Just giving it the best shot we got. Take See, what we, we didn't do, but we could do is we never did quick test injectors. That's let's text them real quick. We're here at Rockingham. There's three races left of the year. They start to get real important. Uh, we didn't do well last night. We broke a motor. Um, we went out first round at grade eight. And today we've got to do good. The downfall is we stayed up late, putting a new motor in, fixing the car, getting it ready. And now, you know, you never want to just go to eliminations with no runs on it, but that's what we got to do. It's Lizzie. But it's first round in the middle of the daytime. Yeah, and she just rebuilt her car. And she just this she's on motor number three. And she just rebuilt after a wreck. Yeah. The way I look at this, what else could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe. Lizzie's car's fast when it's right. She has had no better of a weekend than I have had. You know, where I think we're both probably going to this deal hoping that we got the bugs worked out and everything's gonna be okay. It's just going to be who gets the other end faster. Yeah, like, yeah. 
I mean, I knew I was I racing y'all, so I, 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 I wasn't easy well, to it. I took it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it good? Yeah, I mean, I haven't looked daily yet, but it felt smooth, yeah. Oh, fast. Yeah, felt good when we went. We had it hopped up pretty good, because I figured they were going to swing at it. it I don't know, did she make, did she make a good pass? I mean, she made a pass? She made, she made a similar yeah. pass, man. But not like what yours, yours look really, really, really good. Oh yeah, it looks good. Even the drive shaft stuck out back. Yeah, so it's stuck. Yeah. And everything was, no issues up front, good. Oh yeah. Thanks, dog. Thanks, appreciate it. Appreciate you helping us get the line down. Next round, I got Giuseppe. Giuseppe's driving the Gucci Nova. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful car. It's starting to come around a little better and a little better. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change my tune-up any from first round to second round. We're just going to get in there and try to repeat the same round against Lizzie. Hopefully, that'll get us to the third round. What's up, homie? Be safe, buddy. You too, bro. Be careful. Yeah, man. You Good too. Good luck, guys. To be raced. I know. I know it. Yeah. I know it. I know it. Good luck.